Hi, this is Nicola Whitehall. I hope you've had an okay day. I had a kind of a difficult day, but the Lord inspired me to get out and dance out my emotions, and so I'm feeling a little better. I have today a very short prophecy for all of my subscribers that the Lord gave to me. I'm also um, introducing, I introduced on a previous video, uh, Lisa G. Riley's paintings, which are behind me. These are larger than the actual copies. Um, but if you are interested in buying one of these paintings, and after these are sold, there'll be more, which I'll put in my background in some way. And uh, you can buy them for 50 US dollars plus shipping. So just if you are interested in either of these paintings or the others, which I'll which will be coming on my videos um, later on, uh, just email me at nicolawhitehall777 at gmail.com and I will give you Lisa's email and you can ask any, her any questions. Um, so these are the actual sizes. This is the crosses one. So this is, if you're in the US, is 9 inch by 12 inch. And this is a print of a photo, but you'll get an original of the crosses. And it's 23 centimeters times 31 centimeters if you're in the rest of the world and this is the joshua tree this is pretty awesome this is um named because it looks this tree looks like joshua praising his hands to the lord and um this is my one this is not for sale this is one lisa did for me and it's um of island bay which is just 20 minutes down the road from where i live and there is tapatauranga uh, island there it's just a lovely beach and I just put it in front of my sometimes I have it on my wall sometimes I put it in front of me and I just get such peace and I find that with all of Lisa's paintings they have such an uh, anointing such a peace upon them and I feel just really able to enter into the heavenly realm so if I've had a rough day it's just oh, I just look into Lisa's paintings and it's very calming uh so yes and i think that's probably all that i have to say on that um yeah so there's more paintings coming and you'll get the originals um so these are only prints of photos so i'll just read out this prophecy i love you my sons and daughters i'm calling you up higher with me I want you to balance on my wings as a plane carries a smaller plane on its wings. I want you to draw your strength from me, draw your life from me, draw your hope from me, and you will never despair again if you keep drinking from my well. I'm going to advance you from one stage to the next very quickly. Make the most of the season you are in because it won't last forever, my children. I love you so very much. I love you so very much, my delight, my beloved. I'm drawing you closer to the Godhead. Lean into me as I call out to you, and you will find your secure place and your lodging place. The only safe place to be is in my wings, in the secret place, in the hiding place. I have got you, and I will never let you go. I'm taking you higher to higher seasons, carrying you over fields of golden wheat and barley, and you will eat from the honeycomb. Do not be afraid, my children, for I will give you all the tools you need as you advance higher into me. I love you, my children. No more denigrating yourself or putting yourselves down, because those whom I love need to love themselves to prosper and flourish in their life and model it to others. I love you, my dear children. Do not be discouraged this day, but encourage yourselves in me like David did. And in due time, I will lift you up if you do not give up. So what the Lord was talking uh, there to all of you applied to me as well. It's like learning to love myself is, can be a struggle. There's days I struggle with that a lot. So I have my affirmations in front of the camera or the mirror and I just speak out what God says about me and that helps remind me of who I am you know a lot of us uh, at different times feel unworthy or sinful or just not very good about ourselves but it's uh, 
really good to remind ourselves of who God says we are in the word and you know when he speaks his rema word his the word that alights upon our mind uh, it's always good to you know look at the Bible every day uh, our, some of our prophetic words every day if we need to and just decree um, even looking at ourselves in a mirror and saying who we are and just affirming that looking straight into our eyes and, and our own eyes and just knowing that God loves us and it's not important what other people think it's not important um, it's it's important that we know that God loves us because his love is constant. Man's love is fickle. Man's opinion of us changes from one day to the next. But God's love is constant and he always loves us and he loves us eternally. So God bless you. I'll finish this video now. And if you're interested in one of Lisa's paintings, just email me. Bye.